Hello everyone, welcome back to Couch Co-op. I'm John. This is Dan. And we're playing Banjo-Kazooie. As you can tell, uh, 2D has gotten capped last I, time. <laughs> I am Igor. <laughs> so, so, okay, why do they... So 2D is really small. Yeah, she's really small and, like, petite. And I'm guessing Gruntilda is really big because yeah. she was, like, all angry oh, yeah. neck. She's fucking huge. So what's your question? Like, why build a machine that can't fit you comfortably, if it's built for you? That's a very good question. Maybe she ran out of materials? I don't know. <laughs> she knows her own height. She knows her own dimensions. <laughs> Maybe she made it before she got fat. Well, no, that doesn't make sense, because she was tall. Maybe she was wearing uh, higher heels than usual. I don't know. All I know is she looks awfully uncomfortable. Well, what I don't get... This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. What I don't get, door. though, is, uh... You need to find the jigsaw picture the image of this area on it. Don't look around it. Okay, before we... Like, that cutscene happens as soon as you enter the, the fortress. So it's assumed that th that is happening while you're running through the whole place. And you know that Banjo-Kazooie is probably in this lair for a good two days, give or take. Because you know that uh, unless all these places they go to are in a different time, like, like time Stupid zone or whatever, camera. then, like, you know they were in here for at least two or three days. So, is that machine powering on, like, the whole time? Okay, so this... Oh, You're supposed to be able to go... I think up there is the jiggy piece. Oh, I know where it is. I'm playing around with the C buttons. Oh. Hey, it's me, Mr. Juggy. Mr. Yep. Juggy. No, they really just don't make games like this anymore. Now go find a picture with a piece missing. It's literally what he tells you. <laughs> you think Zooey shits gold bricks? Oh, probably. That'd be awesome. I shit gold bricks! <laughs> no, wait, hold on, Penny's Worth. I'll get a tip for you. I, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that episode of Robot Chicken? Yes. Poor Penny's Worth. I this truck it. gets, what was it, 16 feet per tank of gas? <laughs> <laughs> he rolls 16 feet and he just stops. He's done. He's like, yeah, it was awesome. Let's do it again. <laughs> Fill up the whole damn gas tank, probably 13 <laughs> gallons. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, God. So, Kazooie obviously eats these jigsaw pieces. We saw her just fucking guzzle it down hole. Yeah. So whenever it comes to this point, does he just, like, just reach his hand down Kazooie's throat and just grab the jigsaw piece, or does he wait for her to shit it out? Like, we get here, and he's like, all right, Kazooie, I'm going to need you to pass that jigsaw. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> well, I can't go on. I can't go under pressure. <laughs> Maybe he just regurgitates it. Oh, that's true. That'd be awful, though. Could you imagine throwing up that jigsaw oh, piece? Oh, God, that would suck. What would be worse, pooing it out or throwing it up? Well, I mean, probably throwing it up, because if you're pooping it out, you're usually digesting it. Normally. This camera oh. is really bad. Oh, yeah, the camera's going to fuck with you. Pretty good. First level. <laughs> there are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills. And I'll explain. Alright. <sighs> what are you? Can I fuck you up? Hey, stop it. Yeah. So the, uh, the music notes, they're not, like, they're semi-required to finish the game. Um, you don't have to collect all 100 in each level to beat the game. But I highly recommend it. Like, you only need so many to go to, go to each world, but at the very end of the game... Maybe this you, is what they're explaining. I'm a note, one of hundred in each world, collect us to open the note doors. Oh. But like at the very end of the game, there's a note door that if you've collected every single music note in the game, you can open it up and you get a whole nother life bar. 
which I highly recommend for the final boss. I'm not telling you how to play the game, yeah, but me. I highly recommend you get all the notes. I'm not trying to tell you how to play the game, but this is how you should play the game. Yeah. There we go. I mean, you can do it. I don't give a shit. Just remember, she's hard as shit. It's fun, though. She's hard as shit, and she's fat as shit. Yeah. The fight is actually pretty epic. I can't wait till you get to it. Really? Mm-hmm. Because, cause like... Stop going up, damn it. Everything you learn through the game, like, you... you um, it forces you to do through the battle. So, like, every new mechanic you've learned, you'll eventually use throughout the whole battle, like, in phases. Okay. Which is kind of cool. Hmm. I'm a bull. I'm gonna rip you apart. Oh, that makes sense. Beehives have honeycombs. What's cool is that, uh, fun fact, in the second game, they've got beehives that actually attack you. Oh, really? Yeah, like they'll run after you. Oh, Like all wow. pissed off looking and <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, I can kill those. Mm-hmm. There's very few enemies in this game you can't kill. Really? Yeah. In the second one, you get a whole different assortment of eggs, like grenade eggs, fire eggs, ice eggs. Oh. Yeah, it's really cool. They did a lot of stuff you? in the second one. Me and my ghost token used for mumbo magic. Jump. Nope. Do you have the ground pound? I don't. I thought I'd learned that, but I didn't. I think you learned in this level. I do, I just haven't found it yet. There it oh, is. Oh, there it is. The Big Buster. Have you noticed that almost all of the moves that you've gotten so far involve, like, Kazooie doing most of the work? Like, Bandra just kind of, like, throws her around and just... It works. Yeah, kinda. Like, the only thing Banjo really does is this and the rolly thing. Which yeah. Kazooie doesn't like. Boom. So is there an even 100 notes in every level? Yes. Okay. Which is cool because, like, how they have the notes scattered around in the certain sections, it always, like, has a, like, it, it always evens out. Like after a while, like if there's a three note, if there's three notes lined up on a wall, there's most definitely got to be three more notes somewhere near that wall in that area. Yeah, I've noticed this game sets them up in like patterns and groupings. Yeah, which is really cool. Makes it really easy to find them all. Uh, ah. So it's kind of really suck just sitting there, probably in your house, eating a you know. Like a steak or something, cold brew. All of a sudden, some fat bear just breaks your house yeah, from so the roof. Some three-ton fucker breaks your house, <laughs> steals your piano, <laughs> and is just like, "Yep, this is what I'm looking for right here." <laughs> and then terrorizes the rest of the neighborhood. <laughs> and then you're the bad guy. Yeah, you're an asshole for trying to defend your house. Yeah, oh, how dare you? Uh, I don't think I. Ooh, hey, wait. Need to go there. Right now. Each world will help you progress through the witch's lair. Well, there's ten per level. Yeah. Damn. Ten jiggies per level, one hundred notes per level. Uh, there's two um, hollow honeycombs per level, and five of those little Jinjo guys, those little alien dudes. Wait, what do you mean hollow? Remember those hollow honeycombs you were picking up in the tutorial? Oh, yeah. That gave you, like, a whole extra extra piece of life. Yeah. There's two of those in each level. Eventually, you'll get an ability that you can, like, have a... Oh, never mind. Thanks, Bottles. You stole my thunder. I was trying to explain that to him. He's like, oh, hey, just so you know, man, I got a move for you. It'll tell you everything this jackass is trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm cooler though. Fuck that guy.
I like how Kazooie gets tired, so like you can see how much like stamina you have, how much time you have left on that jump. Yeah. Ah, camera. You are not helpful. So they really packed a lot into this game. They did. It's very surprising. The second one's even bigger. Really? Yeah, but it, that one required the expansion card. Um, the, the, the expansion RAM pack for the 64. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they were Dang. able to jam a lot of stuff into it. Well, if this has 100 notes... I can understand the 100 notes per level and, like, the five... Um, peoples. Yeah, the five peoples, like those. But with the ten... Um, with the ten puzzle pieces, they just packed a lot into this game. They I'm, did. Damn. You were not joking when you said this was a collectathon. And I love it. I absolutely love this game. <laughs> this and Persona 5 is a very close second to my favorite game ever. Really? Yeah. But if you broke them into genres, this is my favorite platformer, and uh, Persona 5 is my favorite JRPG. <sighs> For sure. Aha, I did see something over here. Eggs! Now, do the eggs regenerate, or do they set? Uh, just like everything else, like a set number. I think they're the set number. They might regenerate after a while. But I don't think you'll use 100 eggs per level. I think it's Z and left on the C-stick. Oh, there, there it is. is. There's only a limited number of buttons on this controller. I will find it. <laughs> the fact that she's able to hold Banjo on her back like that is crazy. She's fucking responsive. Damn. Yeah, she is. Yeah, see, they're not all required to beat the game, but... Um, Might as well. This is what I want. I really need to start reading those tutorials. Like, not just letting them play, but actually reading them. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, if you're stuck, I can help you out. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Stupid fucking camera! Why is Kazooie so much better? She's more responsive and moving. Damn it. Get out of first person. She's more responsive on moving and she can jump better. Um. It's a very good question. Probably because she doesn't. Well, the response could probably be because she doesn't weigh as much as Banjo, so she doesn't have as much, like... But she still has his weight on her back. Good point. It's still the same weight. It's just, I don't know. Distributed differently. Good point. That's a very good question, actually. Like, once you get this... that Wait, can I shoot eggs yet? No. No. Can't. You get that in this area. I think it's up there. But you have to beat the... But you have to get to that guy first. I have to talk to Aperscape over here. Chimpy hungry. Once orange now. Feed Chimpy. Feed me. Feed me. I'm fucking hungry. Ah, <laughs> oh, hungry. I hunger. Bring me food. Out. <laughs> Don't touch Conger's blocks. Oh, what that hit? There it is. I wonder if that's a reference to Donkey Kong. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. So he is pissed. Oh yeah. So speaking of Donkey Kong sixty four, um. Apparently, some speedrunner found a hidden coin that no one knew existed. So, like, every time someone would, like, 100% the game... They weren't 100%. They weren't 100%ing it, because it was a secret coin that you could only find by, like, doing a, like, a ground pound 
on a secret block that is hidden in some grass in an undisclosed area. Okay, now what is this thing? Donkey Kong 64? Yeah. So, like, what do you mean a hidden coin? Like, uh, there are certain there are certain coins that are like multicolored. Okay. That you can only get by hitting like secret like secret switches, and it would like spawn them, or they would be like buried, and you'd ground pound, and then like you'd uncover them. Okay. Well, one of those was buried underneath a patch of dirt that you couldn't see because it was covered up from grass, mm -hmm. and there's no indication on your character moving slightly upward to, to notify you that you're on something. Yeah. So uh, there was just some dude jacking around, and he found this coin that no one knew existed. Oh. So it completely, like, made everyone rethink on how to want it into the game now. So now, really? so now they found a new coin, so they have to get that coin now to want it to present the game. Oh, okay. So, on that note, do you think that all of the all of the people who claim to 100% the game in the past, without knowing that that thing existed, do you think they technically still did? Or do you think that now that that's been uncovered, they should go back and redo it? To claim that they've 100% of the game. The game while you're crouching, egg sighting. Oh, I get it, egg sighting. Ha 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 ha. Oh, cool. They give you a demo. Okay, cool. Um, I believe that they were not 100% in the game. They were getting, like, 99%. But they believed that they were getting 100%, so they were satisfied. That's really all it is. Like, that's all I play games for is shit! <laughs> You play games for shit? I play games for shit. Shits and gigs, man. But no, like, they believe they were getting 100%, so they were satisfied. And I play games to be satisfied. I'm not a completionist. Oh, God, no. A friend I... of ours is. Oh, really? Yeah. Daniel. Oh, he's he... a completionist? Oh, yeah. Man. He loves competing games. He played um, Grand Theft Auto, one of the Grand Theft Autos. I forget which one. But there's a select number of pigeons throughout the world, like throughout the city. Yeah. I think there's like five pigeons. And they're a special kind of pigeon. They're like a dove. They're not just like the standard background bird. Yeah. And he got like all of them. And they're apparently really hard to get. Man, that's dedication. I couldn't do that. I have way too many things oh. I need to do that I, you know, and I can't just set aside to complete a game like that. Urk bear beat Konga. Konga. Let me give price to bear. Right now he's playing um, uh, one of the Kingdom Hearts games. I forget which one. And he's playing, he's replaying it with Brave Mode. Oh my god. Which I guess is hard mode. In yeah. Because again, he's a completionist. He likes to complete games. And you gotta beat it on every difficulty, get every trophy. Well, I think on that note, I think it's a good place to stop. Yeah. So, next time on Couch Co-op? Next time on Couch Co-op. Alright, see everyone later.